Here we are at the, at the brand new look, new law, and this looks like a carpet rather than a football pitch. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's lovely. You know, it's um, really, really special. I mean, it's been really good to look at it throughout the summer. Um, it's been something that it interests me. It always has done. Um, and it makes you really, really proud of your football club when you've got like a, a fantastic pitch like that. And, you know, it's and around the outside now, it's all, you know, pristine and nice and yeah we you know I think that um, there's been a bit of love put back into the football club over the summer and I think a bit of love and a lot of money and um, and we're very thankful to um, for to Dale for um, letting us do that. So was it a question of you going to Dale at the end of last season saying we could really do with a new pitch this is what I'd like or how did it work? Um, he came to me with two or three options <laughs> I, I picked the most expensive, <laughs> um, but um, what we were trying to do was mirror image what's at the training ground. So, you know, the three options, one of them was never really an option. It was just an option. Um, and the second one would have been an upgrade. And the third one That's what you got. was to have the best one. And um, yeah, and he's just, you know, he's he's fantastic like that. As long as you can say to him and justify what you want, I, I've never known anybody as supportive as as he's been. I can see from that smile on your face, you're like a kid at Christmas looking out across well, that. You've like got it. what you wanted. <laughs> well, I just like it. I want it to all be right. I want everybody to be proud of the football club. That's what I want. Um, there's lots of work going on in behind you. In the corridor, we got a new changing room now. We're switching the changing rooms um, because I think the away dressing room is a better changing room than the home dressing room. And the work that's gone into that is, you know, absolutely first class. And um, and it's been good meeting all the builders. I've, I've had some good relationship with the builders that have gone on in there and painters and the chippies and, and all of that. So, yeah, it's been uh, it's been interesting because it's been going on a long time. And what is it about this pitch that you wanted? Tell us what makes it so special. Well, it's a hybrid pitch um, for a start, which means there's obviously lots of artificial grass that gets put down. And what it does, it thickens up that sward with the seed that's already gone down on it. And um, it'll be it'll be like that all season. It'll hardly look like it's been touched, if you know what I mean. And we have a... We have a um, we have a pitch now when there's a downpour, unless we have torrential rain, which I don't want to put the kiss of death on, I'd be amazed if we had a game anywhere near being called off this year, which is obviously a problem with, with the weather we're getting now and the climate change. I mean, that's... You know that's really really difficult and i think the groundsman nick you know he's a he's a great guy and he works his socks off and um i don't think that he'll have the the moments that he would have had last year coming in when all of a sudden the weather forecast and he's in here first thing on a saturday morning is the game going to be on is the game going to be off out here forking it you know when nobody sees it we just see the game being on um and i think he's proud of it as well and um yeah, he's a, he's a really good, honest, hard-working guy and, uh, and I'm pleased for him as well.